All right, welcome back to Galea Voltron of Hope Commander Deck, uh, Deck Tech Part 2. So in the last one, we went over some of the supporting cast, uh, and some of the nice big heavy hitters we got with the classification and the hammer and what have you. Uh, so <clears throat> one of the, my fears with playing a deck like this is obviously it hinges on your commander. Uh, your commander is going to get attacked a lot, especially if you're considered a threat on that board. Uh, and one of the ways to, you know, <laughs> to get noticed real quick is using something like Sovereign of Lost Alara, Alora, Alora, because uh, that way every time we attack with Galea alone, uh, we can basically fetch an aura from our deck and attach it. So that's, you know, <clears throat> gives us some ramp up power really, really quick. Because the goal is to really get to 21 damage with uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, so that way you can start knocking out players really, really quick. Uh, you know, <clears throat> that way, you know, it's really cool just to one-shot one, every, you know, somebody, at least, you know, at least once. Uh, but then obviously, like I said, you know, you're going to have a target on your back if you start knocking people out. Uh, they're going to start hitting you with your things, start breaking your toys, sending them in the graveyard, and things like that. So we got to use some fetch, like open the armory. Uh, <clears throat> that way we can pull things out and get the cards we need at the time. Uh... So that way that we're just ramping her up, or him, I'm still not sure, uh, <clears throat> and getting them ready just to crack away. So then if they do uh, start sending all our stuff to the graveyards, we do have things like Mantle of the Agents, which is uh, really nice for th three and two white. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, we return any number of target aura and or equipment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to enchanted creature so there if they send a bunch to them and you get this card boom they're right back and you're just powered back up again and ready to go now this is the card i was thinking of uh open the vaults that basically sends uh everyone's artifacts and enchantment cards so i mean yeah it's like you it might be risky using this so it all depends on what the other uh players are using but you might want to use that if you have a lot of your good cards in your graveyard and you need to fetch them out. And then reattaching them, uh, obviously, uh, with Galea's ability to, uh, when they enter the battlefield, attach a target creature you control. If they're already on the battlefield, we have to snap them on. And something like Forge Anew helps us get them back attached quickly uh, and cheaply. But a lot of this deck also, uh, besides just power attacking... Is in uh, is defense uh, and things like uh, steal the godhead uh, is a good card mostly because it makes her unblockable. Which I mean that's just crazy good because then you're just boop, especially if you have that twenty one, and then protection, protection, protection. So here we got Sterling Grove, which just basically uh, is just an amazing card to protect so much. And then we have other utility cards because you know. It's always good just to have some random, you know, cannon fodder. Uh, that's why I like Moon Silver Spear. You can attach this. Now every time they attack, you know, you get a free token angel creature. Uh, so it's good to have like some random free blockers to use around and move around. You never know what you can do with them. Uh, more versatile. Uh, this one, this one is the doozy though. Finest hour, because this is what uh, is really nice. Because whenever a creature attacks alone, if it's the first combat turn, untap and we get another one. So that means you know in the right draw in the right setting you might be able to tap out two people in one go i mean it might <laughs> might take a little bit of some luck to get that but it's possible and they're probably not going to like you afterwards <laughs> well, we've got more protection here with things like uh eel umbra <clears throat> umbra excuse me and bear umbra uh these are just good protection cards and also uh it is busting them up a little bit not a lot but enough and then it's just about protecting them I also got some really good protection. One of my favorite protections for this deck. It is so cheap. I think it's one of my, one of my favorites. It's phase out, uh, excuse me, slip out the back, which causes you to phase out everything. And it's just one blue. So it's so cheap. And it can protect you so much. Not just you and Galea, but everything attached. And that's just so great. And they got things like Robe of Stars. Uh, more protection. And things that just give us indestructible. Uh, we got pieces of equipment in here that gives us indestructible. Uh, obviously, there are some cards that can work around indestructable. But hey, the other players have to get to them first, right? 
before you can hit them. Because then you got things like Whisper Silk Cloak. Because uh, that way it's unblockable and can't be a target of spells or abilities. Just super good for a Voltron deck. Another super good one. Can't be the target of enemies' abilities. There you go. Hexproof can't be blocked by more than one creature. See, just manipulating that battlefield to give us the situation that we want. And of course, we got some three classic counters with the counter spell. Dovin's Veto, Negate. Those are things just to use to protect our commander. Because our commander is our life's blood in this deck, and it's what we need for our win con. Because we've got to crank them. We've got a protector too. Uh, so something like Shield of the Oversoul, Timely Ward, uh, Resistance United, things that give indestructible at, in at instant speed. So that way you can just protect. Protect, protect, protect. And after you're done protecting, you crack, 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 and you send them rolling. All right, that'll be it for part two. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you appreciate it. I'm going to be coming back with part three very shortly. Catch you on the next adventure.